Hello, my name is Sarah Peterson, and for my presentation, I was assigned honeydew. Honeydew is also commonly referred to as green melon, cassava melon, musk melon, true cantaloupe, and sweet melon. The exact origin of honeydew is unknown. However, most melons originate from the Middle East, and more specifically, honeydew is believed to be native to Persia, which is shown to the left in the Persian Empire. They were also considered to be sacred food by the Egyptians because of their sweet and juicy flavor. Today, this fruit is grown in Mexico, California, Arizona, and parts of the Southwest. It is also most abundant from late summer through early fall. The seeds of this melon will only germinate in warm soils because if too cool, the seedlings growth may become stunted and they may never emerge from the soil. The best temperature for germination and growth ranges from 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit and the melons take about 90 days to mature. The vines of honeydew that are started by direct seeding produce melons later in season, however the root systems are stronger. Floating row covers or greenhouse tunnels may be used during growth in order to increase the temperature over the melons and speed up the growing process. The melons are also best grown in sandy loam, which consists of a sandy soil along with varying amounts of silt and clay. During the flowering stage, both male and female flowers will develop over time. The male flowers bloom first and then the female flowers with a swollen base develop. The ovary then develops at the base of the flower and if pollinated, will produce a melon. Honeydew vines may produce as many as four melons before cooling temperatures over time begin to kill the plants and the ripe melons will weigh about six pounds each. Honeydew can be eaten raw with very little preparation needed before consumption. You first will need to choose the right melon. The best quality melons will feel firm, but not hard. They'll have a fresh floral smell. It'll be heavier for its size to show how dense it is. And when knocking on the outside of the melon, you should hear a deep, thick sound. Once you find the right melon, you should always wash it thoroughly before cutting to prevent spreading pathogens or germs to the inside of the melon. When cutting, you will first have to cut it in halves to remove the seeds. After they are removed, you can continue slicing the melon into wedge-shaped pieces. Finally, you will then be able to slice off the outer rind and dice the melon to be served. If honeydew is not ripe yet, you can store it at room temperature for about two to four days to ripen. After slicing, the leftover melon should be wrapped and put in the fridge for up to five days. Honeydew is a great fruit to use in smoothies. However, a more interesting and maybe different recipe you should try is honeydew and lime soup. The recipe shown here will provide you with six servings, with each being about 85 calories. The ingredients you will first need to gather include one honeydew melon, a quarter cup of both fresh lime juice and fresh cilantro leaves, and one teaspoon of jalapeno hot sauce, and one teaspoon of salt. To prepare this dish, you will first pulse together the diced melon, lime juice, cilantro, hot sauce, and salt in a blender. After blended, pour the soup into a large bowl that you will then place in the fridge for about two hours or until it is chilled. Finally, before serving, be sure to stir the soup. Some other foods that you may have heard of before that are similar to honeydew include watermelon, 
cantaloupe, and oriental melons, which are pictured on the slide here. Although honeydew may not have any specific importance or meaning for any specific group of people, it does provide a great source of nutrients. For instance, one cup of diced honeydew provides you with about 64 calories, consisting of 16 grams of carbs. You also get about 1.4 grams of fiber and 53% of the reference daily intake for vitamin C. Vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin that acts as an antioxidant. This is important to consume because it contributes to immune defense and is needed for the growth and repair of tissues in your body. Some other nutrients that you can find in honeydew include potassium, folate, magnesium, vitamin B6, and vitamin K. Currently, you can go buy a honeydew melon at Festival Foods in La Crosse for $4.49 or for $3.99 at Woodman's in Onalaska, where they also have an option to buy an organic melon for $4.99. Honeydew are available year-round However, they are most abundant during their peak growing season between June and October. This is when you may see a slight decrease in price due to the abundance of melons available. I personally enjoy the taste of honeydew. It has a refreshing yet subtle sweet taste. The melon itself has a rough texture on the outside skin However, when it is ripe, it has a much softer and juicy inside. Some interesting facts about honeydew include that it is the third most popular melon behind watermelon and cantaloupe. It is the sweetest of all melons. It's known as a Balian melon in China and has many health benefits. Honeydew may help reduce blood pressure because of its high content in potassium and low sodium content. Since this melon is high in both electrolytes and water, it may hydrate you more efficiently than drinking water alone. Due to the melon's rich supply of vitamin C, it may also support healthy skin because the nutrient promotes collagen production which may protect your skin from becoming damaged by the sun. Finally, honeydew is also good for boosting your immune system, which is also supported by vitamin C.